Okay, welcome back for another video. This is my top fives. It's five extraordinary sea creatures that will blow your mind. Not really looking forward to this one, <laughs> but I think it'll be an interesting one. Well, I hope it will be interesting and not scary. Uh, let's jump in. The ocean is a fascinating place, Not and with really. the amount of unexplored areas down there, and with the thought that humans have only discovered less than 1% of all species that have ever lived, just imagine what we would find if the ocean was drained. I'm sure there would be creatures and fossils that we cannot even begin to comprehend. Now I will be doing a video soon on mysterious sea creatures, what? such as a massive shark that was spotted in Japan that has never oh. been seen since, but this video is about creatures that aren't so mysterious but are truly remarkable and show us the endless possibilities the ocean is home to. Frilled Shark Nope. Just by taking one look at the frilled shark, you can't help but think that it's- I don't want to look at it. I don't want to- Oh my god. Like a giant eel. Ah, oh, that's mouth. Ooh. One more reason not to go into the ocean. Right there. It's a mythical creature. But it's not. The frilled shark is very real, and this truly magnificent oh. prehistoric species dates back to around 80 million years ago. Oh. As you can imagine, it's incredibly rare and gets yeah. its name from its six pairs oh. of gill slits that make it appear like a fringe collar. And unlike most shark species, Ew. its mouth oh, is located just below their snout. Look at that eye, man. Oh. Nope. Nope. Mm -hmm. and holds an estimated 25 rows of 300 needle oh. shark teeth, much different from the regular shark teeth we all know of. No. Because of this, and the fact one has never been observed feeding, it's believed they must feed off squid and small- Yeah, I, I don't want to observe it feeding because that would probably mean I'm the food. <laughs> no thank you. No thank you. Or fishes. Especially since they are a deep water shark, generally swimming near the bottom of the ocean at depths of up to 4,000 feet. So where can they be spotted? Well, they have been sighted in a few places such as Australia, New Zealand, Southeast Asia, West Africa, Chile and the Caribbean. And very recently, a 6 foot long frilled shark, which seems to be the average length of them, was caught in Australia. As you can imagine, fishermen had no idea what they had accidentally caught, and the same goes for when captured by fishermen off the coast of Japan. Every effort was made to keep this one alive, but sadly it died. This did give us the opportunity to examine this incredible creature though, but led the frilled shark one step closer to extinction. They are already extremely rare, and what doesn't help is that they are believed to have the longest gestation period of any other creature, yeah, taking yeah. as long as three and a half years. This is why the species is labelled as near threatened, but in reality there is no answer to how many frilled sharks are out there right now, and since they live deep down in the ocean, who knows? Let's hope that there, that there are not many left, because, mm, see, are they dangerous? It's, do they bite people? I mean, it was swimming next to those, those divers, so I, I don't know. Looks scary though. Yep. Just like a big eel. was how many or how large some of these sharks mm. could be. And for this reason, you can see why the frilled shark is one of the most interesting creatures on the planet and are indeed one of the oldest still living animals we know of. Wow. The peacock mantis shrimp. Sorry, I'll put, I'll, I will put that back. <laughs> that was number five. Just imagine what the, what the rest of them are gonna look like. Like that one, for instance. Ugh. The Peacock Mantis Shrimp The Peacock Mantis Shrimp is possibly the most colourful and interesting little creature we know of. It's found in the warm waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans and ranges from 3 to 18 centimetres long. Its body is an array of colours, with its hard shell being predominantly bright green, with splatters of red, orange and blue, and has extraordinary multicoloured forearms. But their appearance is not what makes the Peacock Mantis Shrimp so fascinating. It's the fact that they have the most complex eyes known in the animal kingdom. 
They contain millions of light-sensitive cells, and their eyesight is far superior than ours. Let me tell you, when I was a teenager, I was in science class at school, and there was a moth in a telescope, so we could look at it and, and see what it looked like, and, and, and be fascinated by this creature. And I took one look at its eyes, and now I am scared to death of moths. I don't know why the eyes scared me so much, but that, yeah, that just did the same thing. No. No. They can detect 10 times more color than a human and have the ability to see ultraviolet and infrared light. It can keep Each it. eye can move independently and the oh. shrimp uses its amazing eyesight oh. to avoid predators oh. and to seek out prey. Oh. Their eyes are so incredible that scientists have studied their structure to see if it can oh, be replicated God. for use in reading CDs and other storage devices. But don't be fooled by their colours or their incredible eyesight. Oh. They are in fact a very vicious predator that will repeatedly smash their hard-shelled prey until they reach the soft tissue to feast oh. on. Which leads us to their other extraordinary feature. Their ability to punch over 50 miles per hour, finishing what? its strike in under three thousandth of a second. Whoa. The fastest recorded punch of any living animal. It's so fast, in fact, that each of their strikes <laughs> can produce small flashes of light upon impact. This is due to the fact that when they punch, it lowers the pressure of the water, causing it to boil. Unlike some extraordinary sea creatures, what? the mantis shrimp is not a rare or endangered species and can be kept in a saltwater aquarium at home. Wow. But be aware as it grows larger, nope. as they have been known to punch their way through aquarium glass. Holy crap. Giant isopod. The giant isopod oh. are by far the largest member of the isopod family, a species that includes a creature most of us will be familiar with, the woodlouse. As you can see... I was just about to say that, it looks like a giant lice. Oh god, look at the size of it compared to that fish. Oh. See, the giant isopod looks like a giant woodlouse, making it one of the strangest creatures we have found in the ocean. They can be spotted worldwide, living solitary lives on the seabed in ah. depths of up to 7,000 feet. At these depths, the isopods are faced with practically unlivable conditions. Pitch black, extreme cold, and ridiculous pressure, which is all thought to be the reason for their enormous size. It's the result of deep sea gigantism, a yet to be explained phenomenon oh. that causes deep water creatures to grow much larger oh. than similar species that habitat shallower waters. Other examples of this are giant squids and giant tube worms, all of oh. which grow considerably larger than their shallow water relatives. Nope. The giant isopod has a hard-shelled segmented body, which means it's both tough and flexible, and when threatened, it will roll into a ball to protect its fleshy underside, much like a woodlouse. It has alien-looking, highly reflective yep. eyes that have a large field of vision, and are very responsive to fast movements, but are also incredibly uh. sensitive to light, as they live in the dark and mainly rely on their large antenna to help them navigate their way along the seabed. As food is limited at the depths the isopods live, they will eat almost anything that falls to the sea floor, but have been known to prey on slow-moving sea cucumbers, sponges, live fish, and were even caught on camera killing a trapped dogfish shark. However, giant isopods can live long periods of time without food. One in fact went five years without eating whilst in captivity, and for this reason and its gigantic appearance, oh. the giant isopod is one extraordinary deep sea creature. The Mimic Octopus the Mimic Octopus is quite a recent discovery, first being spotted in 1998 off the coast of Indonesia, and is a true master of disguise. Unlike many animals who can camouflage themselves to blend in with their environment, this octopus can actually change itself to mimic a number of different species, oh. the only known marine animal to do so. It's adapted this ability by living in shallow waters, leaving it extremely vulnerable to predators. So, in order to protect itself, it can transform from a brown-looking octopus into an array of different poisonous creatures to fend off its attackers. But this also works as a way to fool prey into believing it's a less threatening creature, only to devour them once they get close enough. A venomous sole, lionfish, sea anemone, sea snakes and jellyfish are just a few things it's been witnessed morphing into. What? To change into the venomous sole, it will pull all its arms in and completely flatten its body into the same shape as the sole, and is able to propel itself to resemble the speed of the deadly predator. The Mimic Octopus can make these transformations due to the fact they have no rigid elements to their structure, 
so are fully flexible and able to bend their soft bodies into these intelligent shapes. An interesting fact is that a female mimic octopus can lay up to 200,000 eggs, which she hangs in strings from the ceiling of her Ew. neck. She then protects and cares for the eggs until they hatch. During this time, she will not eat, and as soon as her eggs hatch, she will die. The male what? will also die within a few months of mating, but because of the huge amount of eggs they lay, the mimic octopus is far from extinction. No wonder. Mysterious Squid now, this next one's focus is actually a video that was caught a mile and a half under the Gulf of Mexico on November the 11th, 2007. The clip was captured by a Shell Oil Company remotely operated vehicle as it was exploring one of the world's deepest oil and gas developments. What the camera witnessed is a bit of a mystery, and I was going to save it for my mysterious underwater creatures video, but I thought I would include it here because it is truly extraordinary. Take a look at this. Oh, the hell? No, mm -mm. nope. It's been nicknamed the long legged squid and could be a species of Magnapena squid or big fin, a species that are quite common worldwide but live in permanently dark zones of the ocean in depths of below 4,000 feet. It's an alien. It's an alien. Have they never seen a sci-fi movie? Seriously. Seriously. These guys need to go and watch Alien or Aliens or something. Nope. It's thought the Magnapena squid can measure from 5 to 23 feet long and have four slightly different variants of the species with shorter and different number of appendages that they use to pick up food from the seabed but the one in the footage appears to have 10 appendages that all appear to be the same length oh. and is the first of its kind to have been spotted. Because of this, there really is a limited amount of information on it, and whether it's the same genus to the Magnapena squid, a distant relative to it, or a completely new creature remains unknown. But just look at that. That is extremely creepy yet magnificent at the same time, and it's no wonder it's still confusing many marine biologists mm -mm. and is a constant reminder of the possibilities the ocean holds. And I wonder just how many undiscovered oh. creatures must be down there. So that's five extraordinary sea creatures. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next week for another one. Yep, as I thought, I did not enjoy that. I did not enjoy that at all. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh. Okay, guys, that's the end of the video, thankfully. Um, if you liked what you saw, hit the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. I will leave a, I will leave a link in the description to the original video. I shouldn't be shortening it, really. Uh, I shouldn't be knocking anything off of it. It's a nice short video. Uh, so yeah, I'm out.